still early in the season, relatively speaking. And LeBron James, they do have a great leader. And, you know, Mike Brown, once this team gets their defense where it needs to be, they're still pretty good. Parker for three. Not a big play defense right there. 56% shooting for the Raptors. Parker down with 15. Time Bosch for two miles. 56-41 Raptors. Tough shot. That was a tough shot. So Chris Bosch came over to try to alter that shot. Hughes somehow got that ball in there. Jamario Moon. He's going to bring it out with 11 on the clock. He's pulled it over with nine assists, only one turnover. And he's knocked down a couple of shots here in the third quarter. The Raptors are just playing very deliberate basketball. They're taking the time. They're getting whatever they want. They realize that Cleveland's not defending properly, and they're just breaking them down every play. Three ball missed. Gooden with the offensive rebound. LeBron James. Put the ball on the floor with the wraparound. Rogowskis retrieves. James from the elbow. Missed fire from three-point range. James is five and 15. Cleveland, everything is just on the perimeter, Chuck. They're, they're not even looking to, to attack and be aggressive. Andrea Bargnani, a deep three off the mark. A big night against Detroit, but just two of eight here against the Cavs. And they go upstairs, caught underneath by James. Nice hit to Gooden. A foul on Chris Boss, and that will be his second. A good not getting anything easy in this game. He's had Jamario Moon find him, and that time Chris Bosch almost a clean box, got whistled for the foul. He is going up strong. For the Cavaliers, only their eighth free throw appearance in the ball game. She only 71% on the season. No, you know what time it is, don't you? No. It's time to think about it. Who holds the NCAA tournament record for most points in a game? NCAA tournament record for most points in a game. Is he with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Yes, organization? he is. Yes, he is. I know who it is. I think. And remember, this was done as another hint before the three-point That's shot. right. That's right. And he played in an era featuring the likes of Maravich and West and Frazier. Chamberlain and Russell. That's who I think it is, Chuck. I loved watching him play. Mm -hmm. uh, on tapes, I guess. I wasn't actually really young enough. 58-45. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raptors. Hughes with the step back. There's Ogowskis. And Sam Mitchell up on that one, Chuck. Again, he doesn't want his team falling into a comfort zone. You've got a team that's struggling. They're missing shots. Put a body on somebody. And this is where Bargnani's got to help out Chris Fox. He just can't be a spectator on the glass. He's got to get in there and rebound. Fox coming hard. The loose ball is Parker. And then it's LeBron James on a two-on-one to the rim. Missed the shot. It's still loose. And he's picked up by Calderon. Here come the Raptors on a five on four. Calderon in the last four games has 40 assists and only six turnovers. Calderon, right through the heart of the lane. Give it up. Parker, three ball. Oh! And we're off good out of bounds. LeBron James is five of 16. 12 points on the night for the leading score in the NBA. LeBron James with Parker uses his brains as well as his physical attributes to make it happen. Proxer to Stervitz, back on the floor. Just came up with an offensive rebound. This last five minutes of the third quarter is very critical, in my opinion, for the Raptors. It's just an 11 point game as bad as Cleveland has been playing and struggling with their offense. Toronto has to really gain some ground right here and spread this margin to make that fourth quarter a little bit easier. Tomorrow moves. One on the shot clock. Three ball. Big shot for Tomorrow Moon as he trots back to the uh, other side of the floor. says, no problem. <laughs> Under pressure, Moon with 10. He's always got a smile, Chuck. He's enjoying every minute on an NBA floor. It's been a long road to get here, and he's made the most out of it. 
No, no doubt about that, Leo. He could be playing right now for the Globetrotters on a Sunday in Altoona. <laughs> I mean, oh. 